If you are in any need of prayer or advice, make sure you comment or email. God bless you. I believe that some people may think of me as a man of God on my videos. I guess some people expect me to be lukewarm or a hypocrite in person, which I am not that way. I am sorry. There may be some people that believe I am correct in much of what I say in my videos. Within that group, some of those people may contact me, which is fine. Either contact me through email or chat which is fine. And with some of those people, not all, but some, some. It is funny before you say that I am right with much of what I say in my videos, but when it comes down to your personal life, now I am wrong. When I am not speaking about you, I am right. <laughs> but when I am speaking about you, I am wrong. Now I am saying with some people who contact me, not all. I find that, I find that really, really funny. How I can be right on one hand, but when it comes down to you, I am wrong. Now you are saying that you don't know me, Kevin. How can you say that? If you want to contact me, and if you want to be friends, or whatever you want to call it, I am a teacher. <laughs> I am a servant of God. If I go around or if I teach on righteousness, how much more will I speak about it to people who want to contact me through email or chat? <laughs> if I do this around other people, why not you? If you want to be my friend or whatever else. It is not that I am self-righteous or strict or anything like that. This is my life 24-7. This is no... I start on Sunday, then end on Sunday or I start on Wednesday and end on Wednesday. No, this is an everyday thing for me. Everyday thing, yes, everyday thing for me. This is not every so often I am going to do right by God, no. So this is how I am. But I find that funny though. I am right with my videos, even though how you are acting, it coincides with what I teach, but I am wrong when I am telling you about how you act. That is crazy. So let me stop right here and get to my main video. God bless you. You are going to continue to take that test until you pass it. You are going to continue 
to take that spiritual test until he pass it. You may be going through issues right now. You may say to me, Kevin, I am in a place where so many people or some people are agitating me on purpose. Kevin, I am in a place where so many people are purposely pretty much going out their way to get on my nerves. What is going on? We have to be more like Jesus Christ more and more each and every day. There are things within us that need to be purged out. So there may be something within yourself that is not of God. So God needs to purge whatever that is within you out of you. I pray that makes sense there. If times were always good with you, if everything was good with you, let's say that you have a pride issue. Are you going to change your pride issue if everything is okay with you or if everything goes right with you? No, because your pride won't be challenged. But by going through issues and having to deal with certain things, it is going to challenge your pride. I believe this, many of the time, when you see someone going through the same things over and over and over again, like a circle, <laughs> it is because they aren't willing to pass that test. You are going to continue to take that test until you pass it. You may believe that you are the victim in the situation that you are in now. No, there is something about you, yes, you, that needs to change. Myself, I am learning that I need more faith. So ever since 2016, I have been going through an issue or issues that require faith. I believe some people were telling me that I need to take the easy route out. I believe that they are only seeing the natural side of things. But I believe I was telling some people that I am going through a faith test and I have to take this test until completion. I can't take the easy way out. Well, I could, but what is going to happen is that later on down the road, I am going to have to take a similar test. Look, back in 2007, I went through something similar that I am going through now, but I was so much in fear. I was so much in doubt because I listened to other people per se. Let me see. Yes, I was so much in fear and I listened to this one person. So I took the easy route out. So I trusted more in men other than the power and ability of God. So I failed that faith test. 
Look here now, 10 years later, I am going through the same test pretty much. Faith. Obviously, where God wants to take me, I need to learn more faith. Even when it comes down to my dreams and the supernatural things I see, I believe that those things are happening to me, not so much because of witches and demons, blah, blah, blah. I believe that I have to go through those things to spiritually grow me. So in the end, those bad things that are happening to me now, in truth, they are going to help me. So now that you know that, why continue to try to take the easy route out when you know that you are continuing or going to continue to go through that issue or problems until you pass it. There was something else I went through in 2016 and it was extremely painful, extremely. And I really don't like speaking about it. <sighs> but I see why I had to go through that. And when I tried <laughs> quite a few times to take the easy way out, I learned that things would not turn out well. I learned that I had to endure it, which was so painful, my Lord. I believe that many people are going through the same things for years and they never learn their lesson as it seems going through the same things, believing that it is not them, it is other people. It is you. You may not be the person starting that problem, but there is something in you that God wants to take out. You need to be delivered from something that is within you. Because if you are already perfect, and there is nothing that needs to change in your life, then you are pretty much like Jesus Christ. So you might as well be translated to heaven now. <laughs> so while you are still on this earth, there is much more of us that need to change. There is nothing wrong with having to change. You can't stay the same way. If you believe that, hey, you have to accept me the way that I am. No, you have to change. I have to change. Like I said, I have to grow more in faith. I have to grow more in love. I have to grow more in other things so that God can use me much more than what he used me now. You see, the stuff I teach, I don't believe, I guess you can say that I teach basic stuff but I teach how to elevate more in God. I believe in some churches, they don't teach you that. In some churches, they may teach you, I guess, the same type of stuff, but listen, there is no point in continuing in circles. You are in misery because you continue to fail your spiritual test. 
I pray that this makes sense. Stop it. The best thing to do is to humble yourself, see what God is doing in your life, and go with it. Because nothing is going to get right in your life until you fully submit yourself to God. I am telling you, listen. So I pray that this makes sense. You don't have to suffer as you are now. I was talking to this one person and I was telling this person like some things that are going wrong. And this person told me, Kevin, it seems like you are going in circles. And I was thinking, no, I am not, you know. <laughs> and I started to think about it. You know what? That person is right. In, in that area of my life, I am going in circles. So let me stop it. Obviously, as it seems, I guess, God does not want me to go that route, I guess you can say. So let me stop <laughs> or continue to go through pain. So let me stop here. God bless you. If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you.